Pass. The Duluth City Council met today to discuss a new project for the city and maintaining an old one. CBS 3's Kendall Jarbo breaks down the big issues on the table tonight. Kendall. home to the former Cozy Bar has a tumultuous relationship with the city of Duluth. Tonight's deed of resolution authorized an agreement for the city to help maintain the decaying building. The council was considering a $135,000 resolution. DITA passed recently. The resolution acts as insurance for the city of Duluth if district courts order them to pay for the building's winter maintenance and preservation. The council says the resolution will help them do that in a timely way. To be clear, this resolution does not automatically give money to the COSY. It serves as backup in case the court requires it. After unanimously voting for its demolition in February, councillors made it clear they do not want more money going to the COSY. With this latest fire, unfortunately, this building, I think, is, is at a loss and will take a lot, a lot of resources to repair. The resolution passed unanimously. Another big proposition tonight, using federal CARES Act funding to create a long-term warming center and 24-7 hygiene facility for families experiencing homelessness in Duluth. Counselors are considering the Lincoln Park Community Center as a possible location. They said Duluth has a homeless problem and access to hygiene facilities is the most important thing to help people get back on their feet. The emergency warming center resolution also passed unanimously. Councillor Roz Randorf said it will take a few months to apply and get approved for the funding. They'll be touring the Lincoln Park facility on Friday. And they're still working on how to keep it COVID safe and how many people it could hold.